Hey guys, it's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Today we are somewhere very special for a wild Pilates workout. We are in Chobe National Park in Botswana, Africa. And you know my creative Pilates workout soul just wanted to create a routine to do with you guys here. So that is what we are going to do today. This is our wild Pilates workout. It is a no equipment class that has a lot of focus on posture and back bends. I call this intermediate advanced because a lot of the back bends we're gonna get into are gonna be more challenging. So if you're familiar with like thigh stretch when that ends up going into a back bend or high bridge, the full bridge, we're going to try to execute those today. So no equipment and barefoot because we're gonna do some toe mobility drills. Have a mat and let's get started. Okay guys, so meet me down on your mat. We're gonna begin in a kneeling position. So you're on your knees. You can modify be being in this hinged over position. More advanced, I want you to sit all the way down on your heels to get that flexibility in the quads and knees, which is going to help us for our back bends. Then I want you to tilt forward, staying seated on your heels and tuck your pelvis under. Bring your arms into a big semicircle right in front of your chest. Let's open those arms out wide, gliding those shoulder blades together and then close the arms. Good, so just gently warming up those muscles. Good, we're gonna exhale into our rear fly, inhale, release. You should feel those shoulder blades hug to the midline of that spine. Good, give me five more here for five. Then we're gonna combo this out in four, for three, and two, and one. Adding on, after you do your fly, arms come forward with the palms facing in. Reach your arms straight up, lengthen through your elbows and tilt that tailbone more so towards the floor. Lower the arms down and give me the fly. Good. Reach the arms up, stretch through those fingertips. Pull your tailbone to the ground. So you should feel a big stretch all the way through those lats and the sides of your spine. Lower the arms and open. Good, let's inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, open up. Exhale, meet in the center. Okay, so let's go for four more. For four. Good, really work those arms up and back at the top. For three. Woo, I feel a little heat. And two. Good, last one here, keeping those arms straight up on the next one. Flip the palms forward and give me a lat pull down. Shrugging those shoulders down, reach the arms overhead, turn the palms in and try to pulse the arms back in space. Flip the arms forward, lat pull down. Reach the arms overhead, flip the palms in, pulse the arms back. Okay, so we're working our shoulder mobility here, which is really important for back bends. <laughs> and posture. Okay, so one lat pull down, overhead extension, wrap your triceps forward and pulse those arms back. Okay, we're gonna go for three more of each, for three, and two, Last one here for one. Woo! Okay. Oh, yeah, I feel that already. Okay, so we're going to bring it to all fours and do a little bit of variation for our cat cows. So take your right hand and just leave it as you normally would. Take your left hand and turn your left fingertips all the way to point to your left knee. So the thumb is on the outside and the palm is down. Inhale, draw your chest forward and up. Reach your hips up behind you and then exhale, push the ground away and tuck the pelvis. Getting a big wrist stretch here. Inhale, open the chest, sliding the shoulders down. Exhale, slide the shoulders apart, draw the navel in. Okay, let's go for two more. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Last one here, inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Good, flatten out that spine, staying on the same hand. Flip the top of your left hand down now, so your fingernails touch the floor, your palms up, and your fingernails point towards your left knee. Okay, we're gonna go five cat cows here. We round on the exhale. We open the chest on the inhale. Okay, if you need to modify this, bring your knees closer to your hands if it's too intense, okay? Let's go for three. That feels so nice in my forearm. <laughs> and two. 
Last one here, round it out. And open the chest. Okay, planting the left palm will go to the right. So with your right palm facing the floor, spin the fingers to that right knee. Press the heel of the hand down. We're gonna inhale, open the chest and reach the sits bones up behind us. And then exhale, spread the back away from the spine. Okay, breathe in, open. Breathe out, round. Let's go for three. And two. My hair is getting wild. <laughs> Last one here. Okay, find a flat back. And now we're gonna do the top of the wrist stretch. So take the top of your right hand and place it on the floor. Palm up, fingernails down, and the fingers point to your knees. Try to straighten the elbow. Breathe out to round, and breathe in to arch. Good, moving the back muscles apart, and then opening the chest up. Okay, let's find three more here, and then we're going to be pretty much completing our warm up after that. And two. Last and final one, round it out. And arch, open the heart and then find a flat back for me. Make your way all the way down onto your belly. Okay guys, so getting a little bit more intense on our back bends. Your modification is going to be to have the arms further forward. The closer the arms come to you, the more intense of a back bend this is going to become. So I want your elbows right underneath your shoulders. The palms are spread and the hands are planted. Tuck the tailbone, lift the navel. Here we go. On your inhale, roll it up for your swan. Pause at the top. Lift the heel of your hands and your thumbs up so we get a stretch in the fingers. Place the heel of the hand and the thumb down. Lower down onto your elbows. Inhale, roll it up for our swan. Lift the heel of the hand and the thumb. Lower it down and down onto the elbows. If you would like to intensify this, bring those elbows closer. Inhale, lift. Heel of the hands up, down and lower. I might take it a little bit deeper each time to get further and further into these back bends. And then once you find the sweet spot, just stay right there. When you're up at the top, make sure your shoulders don't rise up. Drop those down your back. Okay, let's go for two more. This feels really nice, huh? Inhale, lift, stretch into the fingers, place the heel of the hand down, and we lower. Okay, last one, breathe in to lift, stretch the fingers, Lower down and lower down. We're gonna take this back so your elbows are underneath your shoulders. We're bringing this into a twist. So let's lift the right arm first. Left hand is planted. Inhale, press up onto the left palm. Lift your right arm and look all the way to back behind you as you circle that right arm to the back room. Plant the right hand and lower onto the elbows. Taking this left. Press onto the right palm. Left arm circles up and around. All oh, that feels good in the chest. Plant the left hand, we take it down. Inhale, alternating to the right. Putting a little pace on this. Oh, you guys, I'm spotting some elephants in the background. <laughs> if we wanna bring this up a notch, bring the hands closer. As you twist, keep both sides of the pelvis down on the mat. So try not to tilt the hips off the floor. Let's go for two more. Okay, last one right here. Oh, that feels so good. And then we're gonna bring this up to all fours, getting into our leg work. I got a spicy combo for you guys today, okay? So all fours, with a shoulder stretch, you're gonna be on your hands. Take the right arm, palm up, and thread it underneath the left arm. Lay down on the right ear. Okay, so we're gonna be in this spine twist the whole time. Try to hug your right hip, so the far hip, over the right knee, okay? Don't lean into it. Kick the right foot down. We lift the left knee into our fire hydrant. We lower it down. So this is a lot more advanced and kind of funky. So being in this kind of strange position means you've gotta stabilize more with that core, okay? Use the left palm and the back of the right hand to push against the ground to help stabilize as well. Okay, exhale up, inhale down, squeezing into that outer hip for four, and three. Really get it up, two, last one, 
adding on, lift for fire hydrant. Pointed toes, extend the left leg left. Bend the knee, we lower down. We lift, extend, keep it high. Bend the knee and lower down. You got it, we're up, extend, bend, and lower. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Good work, guys. Let's go for five. When you lift the leg, try not to stick your right hip over to the right wall. Pull the kneeling hip over the kneeling knee. Good work. I'm even feeling this in my arms. <laughs> Last two. Okay, one more right here. We're gonna keep it straight at the top and we're gonna tap the floor and lift, squeeze. Tap, lift, squeeze, getting into that outer hip. Exhale, up, inhale down. We're here for six. Really try to keep the leg to the side of the hip and not behind you. That's gonna make it harder, okay? Coming into pulses in three, in two. Keep that leg up on one and give me little lifts. Up and squeeze, up and squeeze, you got it. Good, exhale, up and up. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, woo, spicy starter. Okay, so same leg, you're gonna step that left leg through so cool. And we're gonna come up into a high lunge. Now I'm going to have you take the top of your right foot, so the top of the back foot, toenail side down. So we're gonna stretch the top of the foot, harder to balance on a boat, right? <laughs> okay. Inhale, we lunge down, see if you can tap the knee to the floor, and then exhale to press up. Inhale, lunge, exhale, press. Drive through the front foot. This is giving us some mobility in the back foot. I really want to look, but it's hard to balance and look at the same time. <laughs> okay, we're here for five more. For five. And four. For three. And two. Last one for one. Okay, keep your front leg where it is. Tuck under the back toes. Hands to the hips. We're going to take this down into a lunge. Stay low, now lift your front toes up. Spread them apart like a fan, and then lower them down. Staying low, lift the toes, fan the toes, lower them down. So when you lift your toes, the ball of the foot, the knuckles, should still be on the floor. Okay, let's sink into it. This is where we're gonna get some heat in those thighs, which will get us ready for back bends as well. I'm trying to get a little lower with each rep. Let's do five and four. Lift the toes, fan them apart and lower down. Three, two, and one. Lower the toes, stay right here, give me little pulses for 10. Nine, eight, put the weight in that front leg for seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, press it up. Okay, meeting in the middle for some squats, for some footwork. So just a basic squat to kind of reset those legs. Inhale, we squat down. Exhale, we squeeze up. So the feet are slightly wider than hips distance. Toes are planted. Even though I want you to feel more weight in your heels, that doesn't mean lift the toes up. Breathe in to take it down. Squeeze your glutes to stand. Let's go for five and four for three and two or holding this one low stay low I want you to imagine you're trying to pinch the mat with your feet so squeeze your toes to the bottom of your heels and just hold yourself nice and low in this squat so if you've ever done that exercise where you try to lift the TheraBand with your toes that's what we're doing here like, I, I like to think of it like a monkey foot. I think that's the, the name of the exercise. Okay, let's go for eight, seven, six. 
keeping good form and breathing for five and four for three and two and one and we pull stay low little pulses 20 just close your eyes or keep watching the elephants let's get through it last 10 nine eight seven six five four three two one stand it up okay let's travel it around the world coming into our lunges so place that right leg to the front now left toes are going to go over onto the toenail side shoulders are down you can have your hands on your hips or in front of your chest we're going to inhale lunge exhale press through the front of the foot inhale lower exhale press up now my stance is a little shorter than how it would usually be with my back toes tucked which is going to make it not so intense for the stretch in my back foot so that's why i went a little shorter but feel free to adjust we're here for five and four for three and two last one press it up tuck under the back toes we take it low for the lunge and we stay nice and low i'm going a little wider in that stance so take it down lift your front toes spread them apart and then place them down lift spread lower so you should feel the big toe mound and the knuckles of the toes on the mat as we do this okay we're gonna do six more stay nice and low for me for five and four for three and two okay last one stay low plant the toes and we pulse try to keep the weight in that front leg let's take it home with our standing work for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one press it up oh starting to feel like jelly okay so we're bringing it to the ground for our quadruped work so we got our all fours position hands and knees flipping that left palm up thread the left arm underneath the right arm collarbone is open try not to lean into the left hip right hug the left hip in push down into the arms we lift the right leg up fire hydrant we lower it down did anyone just get a back adjustment i did good exhale up inhale down now just try to relax through your neck pull your shoulders and your lats down away from your ears lift and find that big squeeze at the top don't rush out of it i tell you that in all my classes but honestly it's really what is the game changer in getting stronger slow it down we've got four until we add on for three and two last one okay here we go we lift for hydrant toes are pointed extend bend the knee lower it down so extend to the side of the hip rather than back behind you behind you is going to be easier and that's not what i'm looking for lift extend bend and lower five and four tummies are in for three and two good one more let's keep the leg up and straight on one full range tap down lift up hold squeeze tap down lift up and squeeze they've probably never seen someone work out before they're like what's happening good we've got five and four for three and two we're keeping it up on one hold it up and we pulse 20 little times up and up we have 10 9 8 7 6 
five, four, three, two, and one. Float it down. Okay, so bring it up. We're gonna come into some side planking. So you're gonna be planting your right palm down. Extend the left leg long and try to plant the foot. Or you can be on the arch of the foot, okay? Bottom knee is bent, top arm is up. Drop your right shoulder. We lift the hips and lift your bottom leg to your top leg. Use your inner thigh. Now extend the bottom leg, pulse up. Bend the knee, squeeze, lower down. We lift, squeeze the legs. Extend the right leg, pulse it up. Bend the knee, lower down. Good work. Really, it's full body. Little inner thigh focus Why we work our obliques. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Let's move. Let's go for four. And three. For two. Good, one more right here. For one. Squeeze, bend, and lower. Okay, come to kneeling. Little side body stretch. Knees a little wider than hips distance. Arms to a T. Reach your right hand to the floor. Left arm stretches up and over. Wave it up. Take it to the right. Breathe in and breathe out. We're just giving us a moment to catch our breath. Stretch into those obliques and lats. Let's go for three more. And two. Okay, last one for one. Roll it up. Okay, side plank over to the left. So left palm down, palm under shoulder, right leg is long, left knee is bent, right arm is up. Here we go. Lift the hips, squeeze the inner thighs together, extend the left leg, pulse, bend the knee, squeeze, lower down. Wash, rinse, repeat. Keep it up, guys. Really work the inner thigh here, okay? Lifting bottom inner thigh to top inner thigh. Okay, you're gonna give me four more. For four. And three. For two. Last one for one. Woo, good work guys, bringing it down. Okay, so we are coming to lay on our stomach. We're gonna work into our rocking. Now you can modify this by staying on the forearms, absolutely. So let's start with the left hand, reaching back to grab the outside of the left foot. Your right form is planted elbow underneath the shoulder. Apply some pressure, the left foot kicking back into the hand. Spread the collarbone. And let's take some neck circles here. So rolling the neck all the way around the world while keeping your chest nice and proud. Okay, reverse those neck circles for me. One more. Bring your head back to center. And now you're gonna press up onto your right palm as you kick the left foot back and then lower down and soften. Breathe in to lift, breathe out to lower. Advance by bringing the right palm closer to you. Modify by bringing it further away. Let's go for three. Chest is moving forward, left shin is moving back. Okay, last one, we're gonna hold at the top Widen the left collarbone and look to the right. Keeping your chin at the same level, just gazing at the right wall. Shoulders drop down. Bring your head back through center, lower down. Okay, release and let's take that on the other side. So you're going to plant that left forearm down, elbows underneath the shoulder, 
Right foot is coming in, palm faces in. Tuck the pelvis under and apply some pressure, kicking that right foot back into the hand so you feel a stretch in your shoulder being created. And let's take those neck circles here and really push your head into the movement. My client always calls it Rice Krispie Treats that she hears during this. And then let's reverse for three, taking it in the other direction. Okay, last one. And bring that head through center. Now we're pressing up onto the left palm, kicking the right leg back, and then floating it back down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. And then you can adjust the intensity. If you wanna go higher into that back bend by bringing that left palm closer to you. Let's do two more. Okay, on this next one, we're holding at the top, dropping the shoulders, looking to left widening through that right collarbone. Oh, that feels so good in the neck. Head through center, and we take it down. Okay, we're going into full rocking, or a variation of it. So, you're going to take your feet in your hands with the palms facing in. Bring your knees towards each other, so your knees are not splaying open. They line up with the hip bones. Tuck the pelvis under. Press your shins back as you move your chest forward. So length over height, and then flex and point the feet. Heels up, toes up. Heels up, toes up. Good work. Good, two more. Last one. We're gonna rest down, but don't release the feet. Just take a breath. Inhale, we lift back up. Pointing the toes, let's take some ankle circles. Just a fun variation to kind of mess around with. Reverse those circles, other direction. Last three, two, and one. Release it down. Pressing up to all fours. This is going to be an active reset for the spine. So we're gonna go into an all fours plank with your toes untucked. So still working some of that foot mobility. Palms are underneath the shoulders, toes untucked. Kick your toes down and hover your knees, lifting your navel and then set the knees down. Push the floor away, lift the abs. Set the knees down two more and then we're gonna hold up. Lift, lower. Okay, stay up on this one, adding a little finger mobility drill. Come up onto your left fingertips, right fingertips, left palm, right palm, and then switch it out. Right fingertips, left fingertips, right palm, left top palm. So left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Let's do a couple more. If this is way too intense for you, you can always put the knees down. One more each way. The last one here. And then rest those knees. Okay, guys, so we're gonna go into an advanced variation of thigh stretch. So you're going to flex your feet behind you. If that cramps your foot, you could always do it untucked. Palms are going to face in on the hips. The important part is that we move from the knees and we do not bend at the lower spine. Tuck the pelvis under. Four parts. Here we go. Inhale, hinge back. Thighs are moving back with you. Now push your chest up towards the ceiling. Recoil that chest forward and then come back over the knees. We hinge on one, chest lifts on two, chest returns on four, and then we come back over the knees. If you want to advance, hinge and get further back, then push the chest up, return the chest, come over the knees. One more and then we're going to add on. Hinge, push your chest up, un extend the spine and return. So we're gonna bring it, bring it back to the feet for an option if you'd like. Hinge, lift the chest, and then take your hands and gently push them on the heels. Push up rather than sitting into it. Okay, exhale, brace your core, pull your chest back up, and then come back over the knees. So we'll do those a couple times. We hinge on the inhale, lift the chest, bind the feet. On. 
extend the spine, and then come back over the knees. Let's do two more. Hinge, chest lift, shoulder blades move into the back. Maybe you find the heels, open the heart. Maybe this time you release the neck. Tuck the chin, brace the core, flat back, return. Last one, hinge, lift the heart, find the heels, open the throat. Tuck the chin, brace your belly, exhale, come back up. Nice work, guys. Okay, so we've got a fun, fun plank push-up variation, okay? So bring yourself into your high plank. You could absolutely do this on the knees in a modified plank, okay? So long plank hold with some push-ups. Feet hips distance parallel. For my push-ups, I always like my hands a bit wider than my shoulders. Feels better for my chest. Brace your thighs, lift your belly. Give me one push-up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, hold. Don't go anywhere, we'll be here for a bit. <laughs> Breathing through it. Okay, let's go for another push-up. Bend down, lift, hold. So this is gonna be something we do called AMRAP, as many reps as possible, which really means to failure, <laughs> okay? So the first place I want you to go if you feel like you're gonna give up here is to your knees before you totally stop, okay? Give me a push-up. Down and up. Woo, we're getting spicy. Okay, give me another push-up. Down and up. Nice work, guys. Breathing in, breathing out. Advanced option with those push-ups, pop one foot up, okay? Because you can't do both at the same time, right? So here we go, right leg lifts, push-up. Press up, both feet down. Hold that plank strong. Just freeze. Okay, left leg floats up. Push up, press up. Find that high plank. Good work, guys. Breathing through it. Oh, more elephants. <laughs> okay, right leg up. Push up, press up. Right leg down, holding that plank. Find the quiver and just embrace it. Take it to the left. Left leg up, push up, press up, find your plank. Okay, we're gonna rep them out now. Are you ready? As many as you can until you have to drop to your knees. Let's go. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. So failure is a good place to get to. We wanna get to a place where we can't do any more. I know that sounds weird, but <laughs> truly, if you're able to do a lot more than you might not be doing enough, for your strength level. Good job, guys. Let's finish him up. Literally, until you can't press back up. Breathe in, breathe out, find the work. Even if you go to those knees, don't give up on yourself. Okay, let's see how many I got left in me. <laughs> Remember, if the form gets not good, I want you to drop to your knees. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Let's go. I'm gonna try to give you three more. Do it with me. Three, use your legs, not just your arms. Two, last one. Oh, one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, take a seat on your heels. We're taking it to a seat, kinda, for a little hundreds variation. So, lay on your back, extend the left leg long, right leg in tabletop. Curl the head, neck, and shoulders up. You're gonna pump your arms to five, switch the legs, pump for five. Switch, inhale, pump for five. Switch, exhale, pump for five. Inhale, five. Exhale, five. Inhale, five. Exhale, five. Making sure that low back is pressed down and that chest is curling over the rib cage. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Good, squeeze those abs in. Really get your upper back off the ground. So this is just your head. 
You gotta get the chest up to get those abs fired. Inhale for five, and then you switch and exhale for five. Good work, guys. We are at the home stretch. So give me what you got. Maybe take those legs a little lower. Maybe get that chest a little higher. Reach through those fingertips and toes. Inhale five. Exhale five. Last round. Inhale five. Exhale five. Woo! Take it down. Oh my gosh, that crushed me. Okay, last two things and we're into our stretch. You guys are doing an amazing job. So we're gonna go into a reversed tabletop with a little wild variation because that's been our theme today. So you're gonna take your feet wide, knock your knees together. So internal rotation, hands are planted and turned out behind you so that your chest can open up. As you exhale, push into your feet, squeeze your knees and lift the hips. And then inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. I want you to think a lot about your legs during this move. Hamstrings, inner thighs, fronts of the thighs. So pretty much this whole class, we've been heating the thighs up but also elongating them. Because to do a really nice back bend, you've got to have that flexibility there. Okay, so we're opening up the front of the hips here. And this one is gonna bring us into our high bridge to finish class. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Okay, we're gonna go for six, and we're taking it into our high bridge from there. For five, and four, for three, and two, last one, and set the hips down. Okay guys, so we're coming into high bridge. So if you've never attempted this before, I'm gonna give you a lot of cues on how to execute it. And we're gonna all come to the top of our head before we push fully up. So maybe that's just the layer you stop with today, coming to the top of the head. The important thing I wanna tell you about this back bend is that first warm up move we did when we reached the arms overhead like this, that's important here. So I don't want your elbows looking like that. They need to hug in and be in line with the shoulder. So that's your first little thing to think about. Feet hips distance parallel. Imagine you're hugging a block between your knees. Squeeze in. Now take the hands and plant the fingertips pointing to the shoulders. So we did all that wrist work for this. Spread the palm and plant the hands so your hand should not be cupped. The whole hand is planted. Make a handprint for me. Draw the elbows in, lift your hips, and now just come to the top of your head. Now find the form again. So elbows in, knees in. Maybe you stop here. Maybe you push up onto the palms. And then again, work the form. So draw your knees towards each other. Relax your head. Tone the abdominals. And now you wanna think of pushing your chest back through your arms, finding that stretch there. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, we're gonna slowly take it down and roll to the floor. Okay, so we're gonna go again and I'm gonna give some advanced options or maybe Sorry, I got a hair in my mouth. Maybe you're just playing with that, okay? So here we go. So things are hugging in, right? We're not letting them fall out. Plant the hands, tuck the hips, come to the head. So don't miss that step no matter how advanced you get, okay? So here we go, elbows in, we push it up. Now maybe if you're advanced, you're going to stand on the right foot and lift the left knee and then extend the left leg to the ceiling. Hug your right inner thigh in. Stand on the inside of your foot. Bend the left knee, plant it down. Find the whole planted left foot as you bring your right knee up and you extend it to the sky. Relax your head, take a big breath in. Bend the knee, plant the foot, bend the elbows, melt it down. Oh my gosh, whatever you just did there, I'm super proud of you. That was a big one after this whole class but these back bends are best done after being really warmed up, yeah? In a, in a balanced way, stretch and strength. Okay, you guys, you totally did it. 
squeeze your knees into your chest. I hope that was wild for you. <laughs> this certainly was for me. And we're gonna take a little stretch to counter those last couple back bends. So bring yourself up to a seat for me. Okay, I want you to just bend the right leg to a butterfly. Bring the left knee in to about a three quarter bend. Hands reach behind the left thigh. Either connect the hands or grab the forearms or wrists. I want you to give your leg a hug, press your belly to your thigh, and then sit up as tall as possible. So your spine is totally straight. There is no gap between your thigh, okay? You are touching that leg. As long as you continue to touch the leg, you can glide the leg out. But if you come forward and your abdomen has left the thigh, then you need to scoot it back in. So focus on your back being straight rather than your leg being straight. And just be honest with yourself. Sometimes going further into something is not necessarily more beneficial for you. If you wanna get the results, sometimes you actually have to peel it back a layer or two. Flex the foot, spread the toes. Woo, thighs are shaken. Okay, bring it up, we're gonna switch sides. So left leg butterfly, right leg is to that three quarter bend in front of you. Grab your hands, your wrists, your forearms. Lift up tall. So I wanna find a lift in this low back, as if you're trying to get the natural curve here, and then hug yourself into your thigh. Okay, keep pulling up through the crown of the head as you glide the right leg forward, finding that stretch. Quite literally, pull against the leg. So use your arm strength here. My leg is shaking. Okay, lift it up. We're gonna go for both legs. If the last one was super challenging for you, then just, just repeat single sides again. So hips distance, feet flexed. Start with the bend of the knees and give it a hug. Pull up, flatten out your back. Think deadlift spine. Start to slide the legs out and then lift again. Okay, you can go a little further as long as you keep touching the legs. Rather than looking at your feet, think of your chest going up towards your chin. You should feel this in the lower back, which should feel good after everything we just did. Good, okay, release the arms. We're gonna straighten the legs, flex the feet. Now you're gonna let your back round. So let's bring it forward. Oh, ho, ho, that feels nice. And fold it down and just let your head hang. Take a couple big breaths and I want you to focus on breathing into the back of your body. If that seems super ethereal to you, if you're wearing a shirt or a sports bra, Try to puff up into that shirt or sports bra. So make the shirt or sports bra, whatever you got on, expand. Lift it up as you inhale, and then relax it down as you exhale. So using our breath to quite literally create a stretch, to create space. We did a lot of contracting in the back with all the back bends, so now I wanna open it up so that you finish this class feeling very balanced. Good work, okay, let's roll it up. I am craving a twist, I'm sure you are too. So let's take the right leg, bend the knee and plant the foot to the outside of the left leg. Stand on that foot. Wrap your left arm around the leg and place your right fingertips on the floor behind you. Now lift the chest and move your left ribs to the right. So this is where you want the twist coming from is the waistline. As much as I'm hugging this right knee in with my arm, I'm also pushing the knee out in opposition, and that is gonna give you a juicy hip stretch. Pull up through the spine. And then release it through center. Good work, guys. Okay, extending the right leg long, bend the left knee, plant the whole foot down like you're standing on it. Hug the right arm around the left knee, left fingertips on the mat behind you. Now lift up. Move your right ribs with you. As I squeeze my left knee in, I push the left knee out with the leg strength. Turn, mobilizing that thoracic spine. Lift the chest. The chest should feel very easy to be lifted here because we did so much extension today. Good, release it through center. Okay, we're gonna take pigeon. If that's too much on your hips, you'll just cross the ankles and fold forward. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this right leg to 90 degrees in front of me. I'm gonna take the variation where the right foot is a bit closer to my left hip. 
Look back at your left knee. Turn the inner thigh up and the outer thigh down so your kneecap points straight to the floor. Okay, really work that. Now tuck your hips under, plant your hands in front of you and push the ground away so you can tuck the abdomen more. You can walk the hands further out, but instead of leaning into it, push out of it. Lift the abs. So think C curve, no back bend in the lower back. So you can even do this on the forearms if you want to go further, but I'm pushing the floor forward. That feels very nice. <laughs> Good. Okay, let's release the side and take it over to the left. So left leg is coming to a bend in front of us and let's set up the back leg. So a lot of times I see this situation in the back leg. So knee down, inner thigh up, outer hip down. That's helping me square. Okay, then planting the hands in front of you. Push out of the floor to pull the abs back. Help you brace. And then you can advance it by going further forward by coming down to the forearms. But if you advance it and you start to roll off the front of this right thigh, you've really not advanced it, okay? So you wanna back it up. So you don't have to do exactly what I do, I'm just showing you different options. Yeah, just take a peek at the hips. Okay guys, let's bring it up and let's take it into an inner thigh stretch. So taking those legs nice and wide for your straddle. Okay, but also when I say nice and wide, you don't wanna take it so wide that your knees cannot turn out and are rolling in. So maybe a little bit shorter than you're used to and roll the top of that inner thigh back. So you're trying to get your knees to point to the back room. Okay, lift the spine tall. Let's take some waving side bends. So hooking that right elbow to the right inner thigh. That left arm stretches up, but you're pressing the left sits bone down. And then roll it up. Hook the left arm in. Stretch the right arm over. Okay, we're just going to take a couple more of these at your own pace. Breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, last two. And last one. Rolling it all the way up, taking those hands to the center, continue to turn the thighs out, and we're gonna draw some upper body circles. So starting one direction, going towards the floor, to the other leg, and back up. This is helping loosen up that lower back as well. Last one, and then let's reverse it. Oh, that feels so good. Good, give me three more for three. And two. And last one for one. Bring it all the way in and just cross those ankles for me. Let's take a nice moment to just ground ourselves, appreciate our Pilates practice and this amazing view. And Anna, who so kindly today drove us around the Chobe River, which was amazing. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> okay, we got an even bigger treat for you. Say hello. Hi, <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> So guys, thanks for joining me today. It was so special to be here with you. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button below to Pilates On Demand. Let me know how this went for you in the comments and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.